Thanks for tuning in to Greaser Nuts Productions. Today's project, painting a 1998 Volkswagen Jetta TDI in a driveway. This Jetta is in shabby condition. The clear coat is almost entirely gone. The paint is quite deteriorated and there are small dings and rust spots. We applied some filler to small holes and dings and sanded them smooth. This car needs a complete overhaul. Carefully removed all of the decals, rear tail lights, license plate holders, and any other parts that need to be removed. The front grille was broken, so that was removed, and a new grille was purchased to be painted. Also all of the reflectors, blinker lights, and other indicator lights were removed. The driver's side fender had some damage and had been replaced with a golf fender. That one was removed and a new fender was installed. All the trim was removed and laid out on a flat board. Also, a spoiler was acquired and needed to be sanded to be used later. Once all the parts were removed, 9mm plastic was applied over the wheels, lights, grill area, tail lights, mirrors, and windows. The weather stripping was pulled back to ensure that the paint was applied right up to the very edge. Also, tape and plastic was applied to the sunroof. Using 400 grit sandpaper, the existing clear coat, paint, and primer was sanded to ensure that the entire surface was smooth for priming. Most of the sanding was done using a pneumatic dual action orbital disc sander, but in some areas hand sanding was required. The spoiler was sanded as well and test fitted. The tent was fitted with 9mm plastic surrounding the entire vehicle. Using a 1 to 1 and a half ratio of reducer to primer, three coats of primer paint were applied to the vehicle. After letting the primer dry, the vehicle was wet sanded with 400 grit sandpaper. Then using a ratio of 1 to 1 reducer to paint, the base coat was applied. Making careful passes as to not allow drips to occur, a thin layer was applied throughout the entire vehicle. While letting the first base coat dry, make a delicious plate of alu mater potatoes. Then apply the second coat of base paint. The base paint was also applied to the spoiler, trim pieces, and new grill assembly. If the base coat had any particles, hair, bugs on it, uh, 800 grit wet sanding may be required. The first coat of clear coat was applied. The ratio was 1 to 4 clear coat to hardener. Careful to not have any drips with the clear coat. When the clear coat is applied properly, it should have a nice shine like on this grill. A second coat of clear coat had been applied. The vehicle already starts to have a mirror finish. Even enclosed in the tent, sometimes dust particles can reach onto the paint and get stuck into the clear coat. Letting the clear coat dry for a couple of days, it's best to go find a woods and go frolic in the flowers. Returning after a nice trip in the woods, the vehicle was wet sanded using 800, 1200, 1600, and 2000 grit sandpaper. Once the sanding had been accomplished, compound polishing can begin using a rigid buffer. The first round of polishing turned out really well.
Even after the first round of compound polishing, it's prudent to do a second round. When conducting the second compound polishing, be sure to wipe off any compound polish before it dries. Once polishing is completed, the plastic can be removed from the windows, mirrors, headlights, reflectors, and other decals. Also, the grill can be installed and bumpers mounted. After vibrating your arms to death with the polisher, it's a good idea to eat a slice of Chicago style pizza. Use a good quality plastic restorer to clean up any of the other plastic components like the bumper skirts, license plate holders, and hood accessories. The bumper skirts were in really bad condition. After a good amount of scrubbing, they can be cleaned up almost new. Also, the top weather stripping needed to be restored. The top piece was restored using the compound. The bottom piece had yet to be restored. Almost all of the clips had been broken prior to this project. We made several new clips for this restoration. They worked perfectly. We even developed some of the left and right top mounts as well. We sell these clip packages for the late 90s Volkswagen. You can find the link below. The door handles need to be restored and painted. These door holes have a C-clip that often break. Also the door handle mounts were completely deteriorated. We built completely new front and rear door mounts for every handle. We sell these as well. Here's our new C-clip that we manufactured. The new door handles mount perfectly and do not rattle anymore. You can find these door mount packages in the link in the description. Even with double compound polishing, the clear coat wasn't quite brilliant enough. We did a third round of finish polishing to completely brighten up the entire body. We also installed the spoiler. We applied the decals and newly painted trim to the sides and rear of the vehicle. This is the final product. Not too bad. Thanks for tuning in for another Greaser Nuts production.